Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna check out some of the best Figma plugins to make your design process better and easier. I also have a Telegram channel where you can chat with me one-on-one -on -one and you can become a part of a growing community. Then go ahead in the, dis in the comments below, write, we love Figma plugins and put plugins in capital, all right? Okay, so the first plugin is called Fig Motion. And what it allows you to do is make complex animations inside Figma. So you don't need to use tools like Principle to design and animate your designs. So I have this purple color in the middle of my artboard and I will click on this. I will go to this burger menu or what I can do is just right click here on the artboard and select plugins right here. And I'll say open fig motion. It says running fig motion. It might take a second and I'll open it up. Now that I have fig motion open right next to this artboard, what I will do is I will select the circle. Now for this tutorial, let's just change the X axis value. Now in this case, we have this default position. What we will do now is shift the circle to the right and also just decrease it in width, just like this, perfect. Now what I will do is move this orange bar from zero milliseconds to something like 300 milliseconds. Add another node on the X axis. How do I do that? I just click on this diamond shape here and that's about it. And width as well. So width somehow is uh, finicky with the animation, but let's see if you want advanced complex animation, you can set a custom Bezier curve as you have here. We'll go back to zero milliseconds and to check it out, we can actually play it. So let's click on the, this play button right here. Oh, look how it animates. Now it's a pretty fast. Uh, it's a little walky because I just randomly edited it. Now this design looks pretty good, but it could look much better. How do I do that? I right click here and I go to plugins. Inside plugins, I have something called isometric. Isometric allows you to place something on a flat plane as if it is lying on that plane. Let's try it. Mm, wow, this looks pretty, pretty cool. You can even add an isometric shadow that everybody wants to do that. See how the shadow is now more or less isometric. I can edit this to look even more isometric. Oh, this looks so, so cool. Now we all know how 2015 lorem ipsum is. So well, for real life data, there's, some, there's a plugin called Content Real. It's free of cost and Microsoft has developed this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if I select one of these elements here, I can change this to any phone number. In this case, I will select um, XXX just like this and I'll say apply. See how it adds a random US based phone right here. I can even add a US address. So I can choose out of all these options, whether I want zip, country, everything. Okay, let's go. Oh, see how it adds it. If I, of course, adjust the height and everything, it'll place it right here just like that. You can even add something like avatars. So I, if I want a random male avatar, it'll do that for me. If I want a female avatar, it'll do that for me as well. These are all high, pretty high quality as compared to a lot of other plugins. Now right here is a small design that I've made in Figma, but what if I want to display it inside an iPhone right here in the artboard? Well, I can do that very simply. I go to, I right click, go to plugins, and I go to a plugin called Mockup Studio. Not just Mockup Studio, Mockup Studio. If I click on Mockup Studio, a large number of devices that I can try this on. Uh, I even have one with a transparent background. I can select the kind of device I want. In this case, I want, say, a Samsung device. I have so many options to choose from. And these are all latest devices with very cool backgrounds. Voila! See how it has placed my design inside an iPhone. The next plugin is called Chart and Chart allows you to create some beautiful charts uh, and graphs for your Figma designs right here in Figma. So 
uh, I'll, I'll just show you a quick chart. So if I say create chart, it will give me tons of options here. For example, I want to create an area chart. So I'll click on this area chart here and I can select the number of areas. So in this case, I'll select four areas. Number of points, I'll select as eight points. Minimum value is, um, I don't know, 10 and max value is 100. Data distribution, I'll give a random value and that's about it. And I'll click on create chart. And as you can see, it's automatically created a graphic chart, which is basically these areas which you can see on the left. Now here I have a simple logo. What I want to do is take out just this M out of this logo. I can waste a lot of time tracing this out or I can use this next awesome plugin. I'll right click here, click on plugins and right here in the plugins menu, I have something called image tracer. I'll click on image tracer and the next thing you know, it's already traced out this M for you. I'll, I'll click on place traced vector and it should place it right here. As you can see, I can now edit it as I wish. I can delete the exterior and all I have now is what I wanted, which is my interior or the M. Now, I love waves, you love waves, we all love waves. If I right click here and I bring in plugins, I have a plugin called Make Waves. Right here, it allows you to edit and create your own waves no matter how crazy the wave looks. As you can see, it can look as crazy as this. For, for now, I'll just create a simple wave like, like so. And I can adjust whether it'll be on top or at the bottom. I can make it a rigid graph kind of wave. I can make this square kind of steps, or I can just go like this. I can even randomize the design just like this, and it creates a random wave every time. So this is great for all those projects where you want to create charts or waves in general. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday. I have never failed. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.